Good afternoon. I looked this time, guys. It is Wednesday, June 11th. I have this guy behind me. And we're going to do a Sunwell Plateau walkthrough because I've gotten a few requests for that and he's home and I need another person for it pretty much. So let's switch, make sure that's loading. Good. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Shatrath and you're going to go to the western little notch there. And you're gonna go to the portal to the Isle of Keldanos. Yes, hello dear. <laughs> so we're gonna go there. And you know, for all you people saying that I'm saying Shatrath wrong, I'm gonna say it however I damn well please. So there. Okay, so you're gonna go follow the path um, southwest. And there's the meeting stone, and here's the right. The uh, Dungeon Magister's Terrace is up here, but we actually want to go in here for it. Oh crap, I'm getting attacked. Of course I am. No! God damn it. Da! No, I'm dead. That's great. Crap. That's okay. Did you pull still? No. Okay, good. It'll be fine. <laughs> More like crap, you died. Yeah, well. They're horde. That's what they do. All right. So. Good news is I died really close to the entrance, so hopefully... No, they're still there. Okay, we're going to run. Accept. Yes! No death knights. Okay. All righty. So, here we are. I'm just going to, you know, eat and buff up and all that. Nice bear. Thanks. He's cute. He really is. Okay. I'm buffed. I need to be in shadow form and we'll do that. Okay. Alright, so there aren't some Poto is probably soloable if your damage is high enough. My damage is not that fantastic. Um and there's a couple little things that you need to do. So the first thing you want to do, um, a lot of these guys you can skip, you don't need to kill all of them. Let's kill this guy anyway. Um, but the main thing you need to do for the first few areas is you need to kill the hunters. What are they called again? I'm just checking now, I think. Is it the slayers? I can't really see them that well from here. Yeah, it's the slayers. It's yeah, the guys. The the bone, right? Yeah, okay. So you need uh -huh. to kill those guys first. Um, if you Otherwise, they have, a, they have one move that does... Uh, percentage damage and it'll one shot you. So, okay, yeah, where's the slayer that you want to kill? Yeah, okay. it is the slayer. Yeah, so yeah, kill him quickly. Where's the other one? There's yeah, another, there one. another one. Yes, there was. I can't find it. the debuff on you. Okay, let's not let's not die. Dying would be bad. At least the first few pulls are the roughest pulls. Do you still need the uh, sun motes? Oh, you don't? Crap, I passed on it. Okay. okay so then I am gonna roll on them for gear, because <clears throat> gear. Alright, uh, disenchant. That's a pretty cool looking one. Yes it is. I'm going to need that. Pass money. I'm gonna take the sun moat. Alright, so I can take sun moats now, that's exciting. Cloth. Oh, this guy's still kicking. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so. Alrighty. Um, so that's the only thing is you need to make sure you kill the slayers really quickly. <coughs> um there is or there isn't. No, there isn't. Okay. Scout. Oh, and they're going to wake up the protectors, so you want to make sure you kill them too so they don't spawn the other guys. And 
we're gonna keep following this path around. Okay, I found another slayer. I think there's just the one. Okay, you wanna kill the scout first? Yes. Oh, or you know I'll him of hope. That makes much more sense. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, and they pulled. Okay. Kill the slayer. Okay, he's dead. Good. Um, as far as I know, these guys don't have reputation. Uh, this raid does not have reputation. We could not. <coughs> Yes, no reputation for these guys. Um, so you don't need to, if, if anything, you're going to be farming it for the tokens or the gear itself. Um, and if I open up Atlas loot quickly, where are we here? Burning Crusade, Serpent, oh no, Sunwell Plateau. I don't see a Slayer here. No, I don't see one either. Okay. And the really fun thing about this raid is you can mount. I like to ride in my motorcycles. Probably skip these guys. Probably. Sweet. Okay. Whee! All right, there are slayers here, if memory serves. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Maybe it's just some of the things. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Like, I don't know if you heard him, but they're really the only th real threat when it comes to this raid. Um, the uh, rest of them you can kill very easily and they don't do much damage. And I think after the first boss, I know for sure there aren't any. Yeah, there's nothing here. down here, we can skip and we just come here. So we're gonna head down the middle towards where Calidus is. So this guy has two different levels. Um, you will fight him in this form and then you'll fight in the like spirit area. One of you will get teleported and then eventually the rest of the raid will get teleported once he's dead. Ready? This guy doesn't really have anything special. No, about. you don't need to do you don't need to worry about anything with him, right? Really. Okay, so he got teleported to the spectral realm or spirit realm, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and he is dead, kind of. So now I go to the spectral realm. And we attack 
Sathrevar the Corrupter. And he's dead. And there you can see Kalagos is there. And we're good. So now I'll open up Atlas Loot again. He drops, um, he has a chance to drop the tier six break bracer token as you can see, and he will also drop this stuff as well. Um, the Fang of Caligos Dagger I think looks pretty cool, but other than that. And tradable for Sun Moat and the item. So yeah, you can see here on um, the Atlas Loot, um, it'll tell you, you can use the above item to trade with a Sun Moat for a better quality one if you want the actual set that looks like it belongs there. Okay, so I will, well, you're on your warrior? Yeah, okay, so I can answers. I can need these. <coughs> I'll greed that. We don't use any of the same gear, so if you want to uh, roll on stuff for transmog, you can. It's fine. Yeah, I only need the chest piece. Okay. For my set, and then All I don't right. know how that drops. And then our next boss is a two part in the same one, so. Like I said, there's two bosses. Um, the first one isn't that big of a deal. Okay, I guess the we isn't that bad either. It's the film is kind yeah. Of the That's what I meant. Yeah, he's uh, the first guy, Brutalis. Very, very easy. The next guy, you do kind of have a timer, which is why it's, I find it better to fight with a couple people when you're killing him. Caligos, which is easy, mm -hmm. and then there's Brutalis, who is also easy, and then there's Felmus, which has the timer. Mm -hmm. He's the one that can be kind of tough. Yeah, I meant first for this area. Yeah. Alright, and now we can't mount anymore, so we're gonna run down here, and then you kind of have to sit and watch a little thing, and Brutalis is gonna complain about Madragosa. And they're gonna fight, and it's gonna take a while. Tier belt. Well, we will get there. Um, Brutalis. So yes, he drops the belt token, and then all of these. Um, the mace looks pretty cool, and the uh, offhand I always oh, thought looks pretty neat. Yeah, offhand's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Oh, it's not showing me everything. It's I don't want it filtered. Okay, sorry. So. The uh, Dragon Scale and Crested Longblade off Caligos also drops, which looks pretty freaking awesome too. And yeah, the rest is all just regular gear, but yeah. Oops, sorry, I forgot about the filter. Oh, whoa, okay. Yeah. Forgot about that. Alright, so now we shall kill Brutalis, and again, he doesn't have anything special that happens. Ready, dear? Uh, oh, you really got flown back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm good. Alright, let's kill him. Uh, he has a burn that's a little bit problematic, but that's about it. He does pretty significant damage, yeah. but he doesn't so. have a mechanic that's gonna like No, kill. he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got burn on me. I can't get rid of it. day for me apparently.
now we wait because the next boss is the Felmist. And the Felmist is a dragon, and the this dragon you need to kill very quickly before they go into air phase. If they get into, or flying phase, whatever they call it, if they get into that phase, um, they do a move that will CC a, like half the party, and then they, he will usually wipe. So it's a good idea to try and kill it as quickly as you can. We didn't have a problem last time. Um, and Fel Felmist drops this staff, which is pretty boss looking. Um, pretty cool shield. I like this shield quite a bit, actually. And uh, like I said, the, the boots token as well. So where is the Felmist? Yeah, I like that stuff. Where like are you? Because yeah, we can't actually leave because there's fire. Now once we finish fighting Felmist, I believe Caligos comes. Arius. And yeah, Caligos comes and... Okay, uh, wipes out the fire so we can leave. So there's Felmist. Are you ready? You need to go until air phase, so you have about a minute. And yeah, quickly as possible is always best. Okay, we've got 30 seconds, well, 35 seconds. Oh yeah, we've got this. comes and blows out the fire force. And the yeah. next boss is oh the twins. Joy. I am not fond of but they drop a pretty cool crossbow. Alright. Shall we? So this is like a gauntlet kind of thing. You just kind of have to run. And they don't drop anything, so yeah. Just move it, book it till you get to the guy at the in the room, I think. Yeah, he summons those tornado fire fiend guys. We don't have any more of those hunter uh, guys, so no threat of being one shot. I have 
Butcher's Mark on me. Let's get rid of that. Oh, and now they start dropping stuff. Oh, money. each need to take one. Right? No, we didn't. Okay, I will take red this time. Go. want that fist weapon, I won't blame you. Oh, and that cool staff dropped. I will need that. Disenchant. Are you? you are a necklace, I can't use you. Oh, PvP resilience. There's a stat I haven't, stat I haven't seen in a while. Okay. We just have to wait for this debuff to finally come off. Three minutes. Yeah, I will. I'll just make sure we stay healed up. So most of these guys you can skip unless you're farming for sun moves, then it's... No, sun moves only come off of bosses, I guess. They can come off of trash too, I think. Um, but yeah, most of these guys you can just run past. It's not a huge deal. Kill the whole group you can. I really don't need to stop that. So let's go this way, I guess. I forgot this happens. Okay, so just kind of have to wait. What the hell? Sure. So yeah, as soon as they leave their shadowy form thing. Nope. Whoa. 
Oh, let's not go flying off the edge. That would be bad. We're gonna ruin the garden while we're here, though. Okay, now this guy, before you pull, drops uh, rings, another cool looking shield. Um, no tokens that I can see. They may have a chance to just drop random ones then, but nope. Okay, let's go. Healing effects on me are reduced by 75%. Oh, good. Just to let you know. Great. Let's, uh, let me heal you up first before we pull. It's gone in 25 seconds, so it should be fine. Whoa! I need to get mana. for the last boss. This raid is pretty quick. So last boss is the kill, kill Jaden. So he drops, he has a chance to drop the legendary bow. And, and more items that can be traded. And yeah, these are all the other things that have a chance of being dropped. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Stumble Plateau. Last boss there aren't really many tricks. Um, again, the hardest boss in this whole fight is the one that has the air phase, um, and the twins can be a little bit annoying, but that's about it. Um, yeah, this raid is pretty simple. I just like to do it with extra people because my damage isn't quite enough to uh, kill Thelmist by myself because I'm not super crazy into making sure my gear is top-notch and all of that. So you kill these guys in the hands of Pend of the Deceivers. And then he starts doing stuff. And he comes out of a portal in the ground, which is kind of cool. Alright, let's go. And if you like, at a certain point in the fight, um, or maybe it's at the end, you can turn into uh, dragons, which is kind of cool. Oh, I have fire blue already. Cool. The dragon orbs will activate and you can try and kill him with the dragon. We're gonna try that. Six seconds. 
Oh, okay, there must be one in front of that one. Darkness of a thousand something is coming up. Oh, okay. Oh, now they're up. Okay. Let's go to a dragon orb. Okay, and I'm now a dragon. Oh, but I can't fly. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. with Caligos and what's her name? Caligos and where's the other crazy person that was floating around earlier? Oh well, alright. Oh, another first weapon. Oh, that's the one that matches, I guess. Okay, we're gonna just check that. Just check that. No, I don't want that. Disenchanted, I didn't see. You will oh, well. And greed it. Day you changed the course of destiny. What was once corrupt is now pure. Heroes, do not let her sacrifice be in vain. Oh, and Vina. That was the person. There she is. Oh, those are more people. Okay. And yeah, that's it for some well plateau. So, once you're done, they will open up portals for you. At some point. And you can go back to Sunwa. Well, not Sunwa, sorry, I love Keldonos. Where's the portal? It takes a while, I think, right. to show up. More soldiers. Now they show up. Yeah, see, really, where were they? They do have the coolest shields ever, though. Yeah, their shields are pretty awesome. What happens when we talk to you? Alright. Oh, there's the Prophet Valen. Shut up, nobody cares. I just want to go back to the island. Come on. Jabber, jabber, jabber. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you, husband, for helping. And yeah, we will see you tomorrow. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're waving. I, I was alt tab. Sorry, you wondered again. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.